Good morning everybody and welcome to visit File Coast and what an absolutely glorious day for a day at the beach and looking at the seaside donkeys. I've just asked the trampoline lady what time they turn up because it's 10 o'clock and it's bank holiday week as I'm filming this and as you can see the promenade is warming up already and she said they'll be on the way any minute now. I turn round and lo and behold look what's here. It's the seaside donkeys. So we're going to go and take a look at this time old tradition that everybody loves on the beach at Blackpool. So they'll be heading, heading down in this direction and they'll be setting up to do their days, their days rides on the beach. Can you hear the, the Jane's jingling, Jane, rain's jingling even? Here they come, there you go, aren't they lovely? Sweetest little things that you've ever seen. Beautiful. So the, the donkeys are ensconced in their position on the beach. They've arrived for work and they're already walking up and down with their little kiddies. Little kiddies on board. Um, and you might be you might be wondering why we we have seaside donkeys. I mean it's a good question. Why did why did it start in the first place? Well, back in the day, and we're going back to the mists of time, um, way back to the 1850s, the fishing industry used to use um, draft horses for cockling. And donkeys were probably used in the, the fishing industry as well. And people probably saw the chance to make money from the masses of holiday makers that by this time were starting to arrive because this is when the holiday boom started to started to happen and apparently in 1854 Blackpool Beach was invaded by Southport donkey men and they were soon seen off when uh, when the Blackpool owners took them to task and sorted them out but donkeys run now on well I say run the walk on Blackpool Beach and St Anne's Beaches and they're really well looked after and carefully carefully managed. There's firm rules about what you can and what you can't do. So there's height and weight restrictions. You can't go on them if you're over um, 8 stone or over 16. The, the owners need to, to collect poo to keep the beach clean. And on the 14th of May 1942 the donkey's charter was issued and that was when fat people were banned and the owners were obliged to give them breaks for um, breaks at, at lunchtime and annual licensing also came into force as well at the same time and each donkey driver has a, a license and each owner has a proprietor's license and they're issued annually and since 2002, donkeys have also been microchipped as well, so they are really well looked after. And since 2019, vets have gone and done home visits for the donkeys as well to make sure that they're being looked after properly and the stables are well looked after and all that kind of thing. Before that, they used to bring the, the donkey owners used to bring all their animals to the um, central car park at Blackpool and they used to do sort of a mass inspection on one day but then they changed it so that they were they were actually going and inspecting where they lived so the donkeys don't they don't travel too far there's five donkey stables in Blackpool sort of off off the main off the main drag at the front and the the donkeys live in Blackpool from April to October and then over winter they go to Lancashire farms for their own holidays and then at one o'clock they have their dinner so there you go that's the donkeys so I've just said good morning to the owner and I've in, I'm introducing myself now to the donkey. So this is Sammy. This is Sammy. Hello Sammy. So the rules are you under 14 years of age, under 8 stone. There you go, under 14. I said under under 16. And this is Coco. We've got a Coco at home, haven't we? We have. Yeah, hello Coco. They're gorgeous, aren't they? The nicest things that you ever did see. 
water and uh, maybe at tea time when the tiger's back out, yeah, come, yeah, back. come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, taking him so over the tea. Missing, no problem. Fetch it back. Yeah. No problem. Just like take it away. You can lift your own daisy one when you're ready. Oh, Sammy. Are you always in this spot? Uh, sort of along here, yeah, yeah. between the tar and the yeah, yeah. central pier. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because I used to think, oh, he looks too heavy for the two tall. No, he's not. He's far, but you've no. got bigger ones anyway. We have got a couple of bigger ones. <laughs> so, so, Donkey Dad, how long have you been doing this? Well, we've been in the family for a long time, since my granddad uh, came out of the war. Wow. So, yeah, our family's been doing it quite a long time. So, you, you're well used to, to being a famous Donkey Dad, then? I am. <laughs> I've been down here a few years, yeah. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I've just told him that if one goes missing, it's me that's got one in my backpack and, and, and taking it to taking it to um, live with me. And they're gorgeous. I wonder if I could adopt all three. They're gorgeous. Lovely little things. And you see a little girl sat on a donkey, having a donkey ride, and it takes you, it takes you back 500 years, isn't it? There's another three-year look posing for posing for their photo. Let's go and uh, let's go and say hello to these, shall we? See what they're called. <laughs> what have we got here? We've got oh Molly Dolly, Molly Molly Dolly and who? Oh, Daisy. Hello. Oh, aren't they just three pictures of gorgeousness? <laughs> the lovely. <laughs> And Molly's got her tiara on. That's lovely, Molly. Oh, we do like that. Yes, we do. Oh, they're just lovely. Now I've got to try and tear myself away. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give Visit Foul Coast a big thumbs up and make sure that you've subscribed and you hit that little bell for notifications. I will see you soon. Bye for now.